Hello everybody! In this new video tutorial, we are going to explain how to use pointers in the creation, for example, of function blocks. General description On many occasions, in all projects, it is necessary to use pointers for data manipulation, recipes control, or for the creation of function blocks. As for pointers, each language has its own and each one with different forms of execution. But what is a pointer? A pointer allows us access to the memory areas of our control, where the data of variables, structures, function blocks, methods, functions, input and output areas are located. In the imaginary image, we can see the memory areas and how they are occupied in this case by variables and several EO areas. These variables and the rest of the elements are assigned to a certain memory location that can be used to identify it and read or write the value its contains. Obviously, all these elements can be accessed from the program part and also access the memory areas. The question is, if we can use it directly in the program, why don't we want to use the pointers? The previous question can we answer it with the attached example. In the example that appears in the image, the EO areas of an Inda drive in Profinet are being accessed with 11 input words and 11 output words, which are read and write with a pointer inside the IFB that has been generated for access control. It is evident that we can put all the words directly in the PLC program. It must be taken into account that some of the words are part of values that come and go in double integer format, some of which must be modified by means of factor values to adjust the number of decimal places that in the drive must receive it and send. In addition, some of them will be used in the form of individual bits to activate movements or rare save the status of the in the drive. All of these added directly to a module will complicate the program incredibly, taking into account that this same operation should be repeated for each of the in the drive or elements that we are using. The FEB itself already contains all the necessary data for the established functionality and allows it to be used in indexed form for all similar equipment in the installation, which obviously leaves the program cleaner and clearer, since it is inside the IFB where the movement of the words or the activation of the bits is carried out and in this. The pointers play a funda fundamental role since they allow us to access without great complication the areas where the, in the drive EOS are located in the example. In the example, one of the pointers that we will see in the video tutorial is begin use it. At Codesys, we have the following pointers. Reference to pointer. This pointer is similar to ADR pointer. Although in this case is not necessary to the reference the value recited. ADR pointer allows access to the memory area in hexadecimal format and it is, ne it is necessary to use the query instruction to dereference the value of the memory area in order to read or write it. The last type of pointer use the command AT and person AE arterisk for input areas. For output areas is the same, the command AT Percent Q and arterisk. This other pointer, pointer allows indexes access to the EO areas, all through that table vari of variables of the bar config type must be used. To perform the following test, we are going to create a small structure without using EOS. Using Pointer reference to. For the example of using the reference to pointer, 
we are going to first create three variables to reach the previously created structure with we assigned. The first one will be created from the reference to statement of and the following two will be created directly on that DAC structure. If we load the program and look at online, we will see that the structure assigned to the reference to is the reference set, or the pointer to which is it is trying to be attached is not available. If we proceed to modify the value of the variable ht test p, we will see that only this structure is modified and that the others are not modified. To join the structure assigned to reference to with any of the others, we will use the ref instruction as it appears in the image. This instruction allows the union between both and any modification in one of them modify the other. In the example, two increments of the variables have been generated and sick axis 1 and r speed underscore cmd, which as can be seen are increasing in both structures. But what happens if we now place the third structure and join it to the one assigned to reference to? Well, in this case, the data of the C structure is written over the A structure and in turn over the C structure. Now, however, we cannot modify the data of C structure by writing from any of the other two. Now we are going to carry out an example using a Profinet communication with an Indra drive. First we will configure the communication structures that we will use to control the pointers. Other manuals detail the configuration of the Indra drive to operate in Profinet and what each of the words used in the combination frame is for. The structure created will depend on the configuration previously established in the in the drive. It is evident that this service as a reference for any equipment that uses EO, regardless of the field bus. Since the behavior of the pointer will not differ from one to another. This example will allow us to see how a reference to type pointer is managed from the first existing EO address. The structure will be similar to this and the initial EO areas will be in the example set to 10. In the case of reference 2, we will have to generate some auxiliary variables that will be used to carry out the assignment in the EO area and in turn as pointer input towards to the inside of the created if B. First of all, we are going to create a function block to be able to read and write the data of the EO areas, and to which we call then included all the parameter structure that can be seen in the function block of page 4. Once the function block has been created, we will proceed to create two reference to type variables to which we will assign the structures created before for communication. Next, in the code, we will include the lines for the visualization of the input values and the writing of the output data. Keep in mind that with the structure when activated with dot, we will be shown the existing elements in the structure. Now, and before referencing the input and output area, we must create a two new variables associated with the structures created and that must be placed in the variables of the module created. Next, we will reference the EO areas with the variables created so that these areas are controlled by the reference to pointer. It is important 
To see that by using this pointer, the EO variables are masked since they are associated with a pointer. At this moment, if we go inside the EFB, we will be able to see the values coming from in the drive and we call is turned right in the outputs area. To control in the drive, certain conditions must be taken into account that are detailed in these lines and this is logical applies to any bus element, each with its own characteristics. The advantage of using pointers in this case is that we can generate these instructors and only by changing the reference variable created added to the if be necessary to control the desired element. The reference to instruction can be found in many already created modules, such as analog EO controls for example. Logically, the pointer can be directed to uh, any type of variables as can be seen in this example. The EO areas assignment process in this case will be identical to the one managed for in the drive control. Using the ADR pointer. The use of the ADR pointer, contrary to what happened with reference to, must be the reference using the query instruction, as we will see now. Somehow, we could say that reference to it is a bit cleaner in his handling. However, everything will depend on how we want to use it. For the ADR pointer, we are going to create a new function block in which we will add the following variables. Word pointers for selecting the start EO addresses. Internal function block pointers, which we will use to read and write data. And some variables on which we are going to write the values read. As the last three parameters of the communication are dummies. These variables for the moment will be a total of eight. It is important that we remove the referencing in the EO models on which we had previously assigned the variables with the structure, since otherwise the system will not work. Now we can the function block and use ADR to place the EO areas that then the drive has. However, in order to read the input area we must enter the following lines. The system is separated in two parts, reading the memory area, adding a value of 2. Remember that we are working in word format and we are interested in making jumps 2 by 2. And on the other hand, the reading of the value that the pointer refers to. Choose from the initial value of the input area and adding to each previous value. The intercommunications structure is obtained. Of course. This can be done in many ways, but the example lets you see how this read is executed. The memory position is reflected in hexadecimal, as can be seen, and the value is the reference set. For writing, the system is similar, only in this case you can proceed directly using the initial address of the outputs and then using the dereference to be written. Here can you see an example of reading the position, velocity and diagnostic values. And this other side has how the speed and position commands were sent after being treated from a value in read formal. The ADR pointer must be therefore be used in the following way. The find pointer. Using the ADR to determine the start of the memory area. The size of instruction can be used to determine the byte occupancy of the input instruction. It should be taken into account that in an instruction that includes a pointer, this value will be multiplied by 2. Since the structure occupies two boards, 
one for the memory area and the other for each value. Therefore, to read or write to the pointer, the first thing to do is to read the memory area using ADR. Dump the value of the memory area onto the pointer using pointer2. And then desreference the value taking into account that in each case, as especially if it's EO, the position of the, re the reference pointer. If you have C with ADR not structured has been used. Using of pointer 80 percent IE arterisk and pointer 80 percent Q arterisk. The last type of pointer is a bit special in that it directly accesses the EO areas in an indexed way, but must be used with the usage of a table of configuration variables. In practice, it is usually the most complicated and the one that generates the most problem. But as is said, knowledge does not take up space and therefore we are going to see how it works. We will create a new if b and generate the following variables that we will assign it to the communication structures. Internal code is practically identical to the one generated with reference to, only that the variables are as assigned as 80 EO areas. In this case, and as with reference to, the structure appears after the dot. However, if we now load this module in the PLC, it will show us the following error. As we have indicated, this type of pointer necessarily needs a table of variable of the bar config type to work. Therefore, we will create a new table of variables in which we will generate the bar config type variables from the program block where the if b is scaled, and we will assign the initial areas of the EOS thus leaving the block ready to work. However, the system altroc seems to be ready to work, surprise us with a new problem that is not solved even that the always update variables mode is activated. So means we must refresh the system by inserting the areas used in some part of the program. This we will ask, we will see a temporary solution only. Now, if we connect online, we can already see the status of the EOS and we call even write them. The system memorizes the areas already used and we can deactivate it with the previously generated call to the EOS area used. This works without problem even if we remove power and restart the, the device. Conclusion At the operational level, the easiest to use is the reference to, but in practice, in the case of using models with EO, the ADR is simpler, although the IFB that we generated is a, a bit complicated by having to the reference the EO areas, since it is now by placing the initial address in the created module, a netter does is need the structure, not the auxiliary variables for referencing the EOs. In any case, the use of another pointer will depend on what we want to do and how we plan it. On this page, you can see some modules made with pointers.